With a little tribute now to something you're likely to have encountered at some time or another in our city, and you might not give them much thought. They seem to survive no matter what, especially if there is food around, and particularly if that food is handed out by people. But did you know that the pigeon has a real place in our history, and particularly at one event that happened about a century ago? So let us pause here to reflect upon the pigeon. You'd know them anywhere, and you see them everywhere around San Diego, but especially here in Balboa Park, the common pigeon. Stout body, small head, and a little bit of an attitude as if to say, what, you want a piece of me? No, no, you see, we're here to pay tribute to the pigeon. They're ubiquitous, resourceful, and they're historic. Well, maybe not these birds exactly, but their great, 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 great grand pigeons were very prominent when the big exposition was held here in the park in 1915. There were little electric wicker carts and pictures of Teddy Roosevelt who dropped by for a cup of coffee at the Brazil exhibit. And there was an Indian village with performances every day and animals on display, and that was all fine, but there was one animal that came to see you. Actually, there were thousands of them, pigeons. It was sort of like, if you feed them, they will come. I guess in that sense, things haven't changed in 90 plus years. But really, as many pigeons as you see in the park today, that's nothing compared to back then. Dignitaries, didn't matter who, it was a part of the show. You couldn't go to the exposition and miss the pigeons. It took a couple of decades, but with time and fewer feeding hands, most of the pigeons went on the fly for french fries elsewhere, leaving behind... Well, you sort of hate to imagine what they might have left behind. Let's just say a flurry of memories about San Diego.